Hello everyone and welcome to uh, match number four in the finals of HGL's Amateur League matches. And this is going to be the date today is October 29th, 2016. And I'm going to be your caster today, I'm going to be Seeds. Hi, I'm Seeds today. Uh, I could, might not be Seeds another day, but I am Seeds today. Uh, next week, for instance, I will be super bad Juju. And the uh, week after that is I will be Seeds again. See how that works? But anyway, so we're going to be in match number four. So if you haven't seen matches one through three, I am keeping this screen up. And that way no one gets a spoiler on what's happening. So there are matches. They have been played. This is match number four. If you are on the YouTube playlist, this is your last chance for a spoiler thing. If you missed it in the title where it says game number four, this is your last chance. Anyway, so we're going in now. It's going to be coming up in a second. So this the score is currently 2-1 in favor of Team Noball after some clutch, clutch games coming out of the other side. With Winchill doing a great job getting himself and his team a win. We'll have to see exactly how this goes, though, and I don't know. It's loading, 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 loading. Usually I wait a little bit longer before I continue in, but, you know. I don't know, let's see. Weird. So anyway, um, yeah, we're just waiting on this. But we saw some clutch games. We saw a lot of very interesting choices in regards to how they chose to play the game. We saw that the other team... There it is! We have Carnifex coming in on Goliath. I don't want to spoil the comps until this screen, because the screen's awesome. Versus the Hunters of Team Evolve, which is Kazaban, Blade of Dead, and blah, 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 blah. Oh, wait, I totally just realized I haven't been doing the outro screen. Oh, well. We'll do it this game. Well, in the meantime, whoop. We are going in. We have ourselves a Goliath running with a Savage skin because he's savage as heck. As heck. And, I don't know, man. I do not know. We'll have to see what goes on. But in the meantime, well, I don't know. Like, it's... It's just... Eating and nomming and eating and nomming on distillery. He's going this way. He's going that way. Like, there are two main routes on this map. And this one is definitely the agreed-upon most effective one in regards to your positioning, where you are in your evolve meter, and blah, 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 blah. There's another one that I like to run on occasion, which is literally just change things out, where you go this way, and you go up through here, and then you hook here, and then here you have a decision point, and if you want to go back or if you want to go forward. Here, you kind of get stuck, like, right around here-ish. And you don't have like much say in regards to what happens at that point. It's mostly based off the positioning of the hunters. Like you can't, like you don't really have much say. The hunters mostly say when it happens. They just kind of pin you in a corner and say you're mine. But alas, we are in game right now, and man, I don't know, man. Let's we'll see what happens. Carnifex is looking to get some stealth plays right now. We're looking to see. We have the bloodied. Markov, we got ourselves ooh a nice little you know bow chicka bow wow chicka bow arrow 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 la my val booty and we got ourselves a man eater undead rice we got ourselves a hound with the wasteland maggie well we got ourselves we got a monster right now who is eating fighting and brawling doing what he can undead rice is actually caught off to the side gonna be getting that dome however the harpoon gonna be saving him from wasteland maggie hound doing a great job of that. Orbital gonna be used to come out in and get him locked in. And right now we have an undead rice gonna be looking at the high ground. Rockets picked up, thrown over in the corner. Does actually connect on Kazaban. Kazaban getting quickly down. Carnifex is doing. Oh man, this devastation damage going right in. Undead rice is gonna get brawled. Looking to get picked up. And bam, here comes Abby. Looking to see what happens. And burn, baby. And Rockets picked up, thrown on over. Does connect on the assault. Gonna be getting the block. Undead rice is gonna be getting some nice little healing out of Val. Trying to see what they can do. And, oh, yeah, barely dodging. Using these nice little rocks quite effectively. Jumping back and forth. Jumping back and forth. Harpoon on the low ground. Going to be stopping from locking down on Dead Rice. They are actually through all the armor of Carnifex with only one strike on Kazman, which was a slight misplay at the start. But they will not make that mistake again. As we saw there, they were extremely effective once they locked down their positioning. And I'm sure in the next dome, they will not be making that mistake. As you saw them demonstrate right there, everyone makes a mistake. They're here, and they learned from it on the fly, showing true competitive spirit and adapted to what they needed. They staged up to the battle at hand and evolved beyond the abilities of Carnifex for the rest for the remainder of that dome. Carnifex right now has no point but to evolve himself and push himself to the next level. 
and evolve stage two up to stage two. I couldn't resist, guys. That, like that's like a pun opportunity that I just couldn't hold back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And for those of you asking about the recent changes and what's been going on in Evolve, uh, Evolve right now has, no longer has TRS as its primary developers. Uh, 2K has announced that development has ceased, which means no new content will be created. That's what they say when they mean development. It does not necessarily include patches and other such things we do not know for certain because they have not explicitly stated. So there is a possibility that they could still be including patches and repairs and slight bug fixes and that sort of stuff. But to them, this is a complete product. They do release, you know, patches at, on complete products. However, that does not mean that the Evolve servers are being shut down. What's commonly being cited is something else entirely, and I'll get back into that in a second, because right now we have Carnifex engaging at this point. So it's going to be time. Picks up the rock, goes right on down, does not connect on Carnifex. Harpoon to be used to slow him down, goes right after Kazaban. Carnifex is going to be trying to see what he can get, and does actually push himself onto the low ground and immediately burst himself away. And he's not going to be able to go down. It does get the lockdown. Carnifex is right now trying to keep himself up. And it looks like he's going to be disengaging. He's going to look like he's going to be doing... Yeah, he's just building armor at this point. He has climb speed. I'm surprised he's not channeling, actually. Yeah, there's the channel. And... Oh. And... Okay. That was an interesting little brief moment of pause. We have to relax for a little bit. And yeah, he's just gonna continue eating inside the dome. Is that five minutes? Four minutes? And yeah, he's just gonna keep on a nom and nom and a nom and nom and nom and nom. And right now we see Kazaban on the high ground. We got Markov coming up and placing mines just to make sure that Kazaban gets stays protected. Knows the Carnifex is looking to loop around. Death spot the Blade of the Dead. Steps immediately out of mine, taking some damage. Burns the rest of them, and right now we see that we do have Kazaman on the high ground. Rockets picked up, does actually connect, so he gets the AoE splash damage. Does not get the direct hit damage, though. And look at it right now. Here comes Kazaban. And looking to see if he can keep himself alive. Carnifex is going to be knocking him down. However, Kazaban goes immediately back up. Rockets picked up, thrown down. Does get blocked by Blade of Dead, which means no damage is being done. And Kazaban is going to be trying to keep himself alive still yet again. Carnifex is not letting him live. Oral being thrown down does get a double rock. With the Kazaban undead rice combo. Here comes the heavy though. Not quite able to keep Kazaban alive. And down he goes. Meaning Carnifex got his strike for a bar and a half of HP. And unfortunately for the Hunter team. Carnifex is able to escape. He is able to escape with minimal health loss. Which means he'll be able to stage up yet again to stage 3. And it's amazing just how much of a swing stage 1 to stage 2 can really feel like. When you're going up against an experienced monster such as Carnifex. Carnifex is doing a great job locking down these Hunter teams, fighting and brawling his way forward, and locking it down. And, oh, that butt swing. Look, we got stuff. We got a Hank. Undead Rice is just chilling on the high ground. Wants to make sure that he's able to stay behind his teammates and keep a good line of sight on everyone. Carnifex is off to the side. Does not have damage buff because damage buff hasn't spawned yet. But I know. We gotta see the feet and speed perk can be getting picked up. Does actually not want it, so he's gonna leave it alive. Blade of Dead is gonna be doing some damage, and who knows? Who knows indeed? Blade of Dead is doing lots of things right now. Just keeping a good line of sight on all of his teammates, making sure no one gets locked down. And it looks like Carnifex is gonna go straight back to his old evolve spot, literally on the exact same patch, and just gonna evolve in location. So yeah, uh, that's going to be that. Looks like the Hunter team is going to have no choice but to return to base and set up at the relay and hope to goodness that Carnifex is unable to lock them down because he showed at stage 2 that he was able to lock down Kazaban quite effectively. Despite the shielding coming out of Undead Rice and the Mines of Blade of Dead, they were just not able to keep him protected. One of the reasons for that was just due to the height of the object in which they were trying to, you know, loop-de-loop -loop around and keep themselves alive. So they're probably going to be changing it up and going to a new location, making it easier to play the loop-de-loop -loop game. 
which it looks that exactly is the case as Kazaban stepping up and actually taking the forward position. They are actually also able to defend the damage buff from this location, which is going to be a big change. Undead Rice is on the high ground, and it looks like Carnifex is actually swinging off to the side, getting himself there. Did actually pick up ability cooldown reduction, which means that he's going to have more spells to throw around at this Hunter team. And I don't know, man. I really don't know. We'll have to see exactly how this turns out. And they're going to be pushing forward. Undead. Sorry, Blade of Dead and Undead Rice. We're looking at Undead Rice is actually sticking on the high ground right there. Looking at it right now. Here we go. He's got the orbital ready. Looking to come in. Shield switch too. And look at Kazaban and Blade Effects we're looking at right now. Looking to see what damage they can get. Rockets picked up. Oh no, Kazaban. Oh no, Kazaban. Down he goes. That was quick. Carnifex is trying to get some Blade of Dead action right now going on. And looking at it right now, Blade of Dead is actually going to be taking lots of damage. Has to use his defense matrix nice and early. Rockets picked up and thrown backwards over to... Un oh, the Undead Rice! Hail Mary! Doesn't melt him down. And here goes Blade of Dead. Looking to see what happens. Blade of Dead's going to be looking up on the high ground where Harpoon's going to be used. Rock is picked up and thrown over at Blade of Dead. Blade of Dead goes down. It's just down to Halm. Halm is doing what he can to try and run. Run away, Wasteland, Maggie. This is a Wasteland of Death and Decay for your Hunter team. You see the Rock team thrown. You just see the boost coming in. Oh, no. The Harpoons are trying to slow him down. Daisy going in for the pickup. Not quite able to get it. Halm is going to be on the run. Does actually get rocked. And here comes the heavy. Down goes Halm. Daisy's got to make a choice. Does Daisy choose one or the other? Or does Daisy choose death? Down goes Daisy. Bam. And it's just down to Undead Rice at this point. Undead Rice is on the high ground, ready to defend his relay. Carnifex is in smell range. He knows he's there. He knows. There's no way he doesn't know. Look at him right now. Undead Rice is actually going to have to step up and defend. Does actually throw down. Oh, no. The whiff. The whiff orbital. Not quite able to lock him off. And here we go. We're boosting it down. da 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 Rock to the face! And leap! Oh, he just barely missed it. Going after Undead Rice, doing a great job ricing him here. As he's going to be undead, hopefully for another 10 seconds. Come on, don't die undead, don't die undead, don't die undead. Yeah, that's undead, that's it undead, that's it. Oh, he got a heavy, and leap! There's the finish, and Carnifex takes the victory, making it a 3-1 in favor of Carnifex. This is, a, of course, a best of seven, which means that there is going to be at least one more match as the, this team does have a chance to adapt and change their tactics while they are versing Carnifex. So we will have to see exactly what happens going forward and how Team Evolve adapts to go up against Team Noble. In the meantime, that's it. That's all for this match. If you're in the next video, if you're in the YouTube playlist, and go to the next video to play this. There's going to be more stuff coming at you in just a sec. If you are not in the YouTube playlist and you want to see, you know, more games, then just stay tuned. There, uh, you're watching on Twitch at twitch.tv slash acids. So stay tuned. So yeah, this is the HGL Amateurs on October 29, 2016. I am your caster, Seats, and there will be a new caster. Well, not new caster, but like your regular your regular broadcaster next weekend at SuperBadJuju at twitch.tv slash SuperBadJuju. Or if you're on the YouTube, it'll be at SuperBadJuju on YouTube as well. So you can check that out. It'll all be in there. And in the meantime, stay tuned, and we'll be back in just a minute with more games coming at you in just a bit with that quick old fade-in, fade-out for the sake of editing. Toodles!